Hello everyone and welcome to a new vodlog. I would like to start by explaining why there wasn't any video uploaded last week. I had to leave for a business related trip which didn't leave me with any time to prepare a video. Now I'm back and uh, I have a bunch of video ideas lined up for production. Today we are taking a look at this uh, Silvercrest USB charger that Lidl had on offer the past week here in uh, Romania. I think it was sold for approximately three and a half euros which is not bad value for money if this turns out to be a good and safe to use charger. Considering it is sold by Lidl and uh, it has these um, independent laboratory testing labels as well as uh, a three-year warranty sticker we expect to see some uh, decently designed circuit inside. This charger has a single output 5 volts uh, 2.1 amps nothing fancy no quick charge um, function and uh, before we take it apart I would like to test how it handles the full rated power in terms of uh, voltage drop and temperature rise. Then we will be testing the overcurrent protection just before we take it apart to check the quality of the circuit inside. For testing the output current I'm using my 60 watt dummy load and if you haven't seen my videos uh, on this dummy load there will be a card showing on screen right now so click that for more info on this unit. Also there will be a link in the description below to uh, places where you can buy this dummy load. We'll start uh, with the dummy load set for 2 amps and slowly increase the current while measuring the output voltage with this uh, fluke multimeter. Ideally under full load the output voltage of this adapter should not drop below 4.75 volts. So Now with the um, adapter connected we are seeing a voltage of 5 volts but the dummy load isn't um, turned on yet so I'm going to start the dummy load at 2 amps and uh, at 2 amps we are seeing 4.98 volts on the output of this uh, AC adapter which is fine. Let me slowly increase the current to 2.1 amps. So we are now at 2.1 amps and I think this uh, AC adapter um, just corrected its output voltage because it's now at 5 volts and it's uh, very very accurate. So in terms of uh, output voltage it does maintain the spec voltage uh, while under full load. Let's try increasing the current and see when the uh, overcurrent uh, protection triggers or uh, we will we'll probably also notice the uh, voltage dropping on the output. So let's see 2.2 amps still going 2.3 amps 2.4 2.5 amps and it's still going. At 2.6 amps we can see the output voltage dropping and at 2.7 amps um, the overcurrent protection kicks in. So it has uh, plenty of safety margin uh, above the rated 2.1 amps. The adapter has been running under full load for the past 15 minutes or so, maybe more and uh, I'm measuring the temperature using this uh, dual uh, thermocouple thermometer and we can see it, it reached uh, approximately 50 degrees on the surface of the uh, enclosure of the AC adapter. Uh, I'm also measuring something like uh, 55 or maybe more with uh, this uh, IR thermometer which is not very accurate because it's also going to be picking up a uh, lot of uh, reflections on the surface of the charger but uh, I think it's safe to say that um, this will uh, be able to supply the full rated power um, for numerous hours considering that uh, right now the ambient where I'm testing this is uh, 28 degrees so it's uh, very hot in here and uh, it's only rising above uh, the room temperature um, something like uh, 22 degrees that's not bad. For the third down I'm going to try squeezing this uh, case like this from the sides and hopefully that will uh, get it open without breaking the PCB inside. Ah. 
After opening this adapter we can also see a part number in here HKAP1302 and uh, the first thing that strikes and uh, I like this is the uh, tab connectors for the, the uh, AC power coming into this adapter. Uh, we see they have these uh, spring-loaded contacts that uh, will touch on the PCB right here providing the main input. This is better than soldering cables uh, this should prove more reliably over the years. So let's take the uh, module out and identify some of the components they used in here. So on the input we see a 4.7 ohm 1 watt resistor. This is probably one of those fusible uh, resistors. So it's, it's uh, also a fuse on the input of this adapter. And we can see it has a nice uh, piece of heat shrink to contain the debris in case of uh, an explosion. We can see they have used the Aishi brand uh, capacitors. Uh, by looking at uh, Aishi's uh, website, uh, they claim to be the number one supplier of capacitors in China. Not sure about that. They're considered a pretty uh, low quality brand of capacitors worldwide. But we do have a, um, a choke right here for filtering and a couple of capacitors on the input. We have the uh, bridge rectifier on the other side of the PCB. I think this is the uh, main control I see for this uh, power supply. And let me read the part number of this chip. The part number is ATK6IN. I couldn't find any datasheet by searching for these um, exact numbers but maybe you know what this uh, chip is it most likely has the MOSFET integrated so it's a single chip solution for these type of uh, switch mode power supplies we can see a really nice isolation gap between the primary and the secondary quite a large spark gap right here uh, I think this is uh, the UL listing for this um, module so uh, it must have those uh, regulatory listings to be for Lidl to be able to sell these in the EU. The transformer looks to be very good quality. We can see double insulated wires on the secondary side. And I can also see a bit of um, uh, copper foil in there wrapping the uh, transformer around just to isolate for um, noise emissions and uh, immunity. We have an X-rated uh, cap. Uh, between the primary and the secondary and on the output um, we have a nice diode it looks like uh, it could handle looks it looks like it could handle the um, two amps but i see no feedback uh, between the primary and the secondary so it must have one of those uh, feedback windings on the primary to adjust for the output voltage not sure how it uh, uh, does the overcurrent protection I'm not seeing any uh, shunt resistor. I'm not sure how they do that and how would they uh, bring the signal back to the primary side for control. But that's about it with this um, PCB module. Certainly looks of uh, decent quality. They even use this um, Celastic glue to uh, keep the parts in place. So nothing will move inside this enclosure if you drop it, for example, on the floor. So I would think this is a very safe to use AC adapter and well worth the uh, three and a half euros which you would pay for something like this. Like even the um, USB connector seems to be of uh, better quality than the ones that you find in the typical uh, Chinese uh, plug adapters. So I think I'm going to save this for some project needing a 5 volt uh, power supply because it looks like it could reliably power a project with uh, 5 volts and 2 amps for a very long time. So that was all for this video. I hope you enjoy uh, this kind of videos. Let me know in the comment section below or maybe hit the like button and I will see you next time.